everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I've decided to film a Q&A. Um, again, the background is different because I'm just not feeling it for that black background lately. I don't know, it just seems so like impersonal and I want these videos to be like chatty and like just fun and I just feel like it's a bit too like professional with the background and the lights and everything and this is just a bit more chill which is how I want this video to be and how I want my channel to be as well just a bit more like fun so I'm filming out in mine and Connor's room so this I'm on the bed right now and that's the television situation down there we do have two TVs Connor um, has his PlayStation connected to this one and then we have the television box connected to this one so he can play games and I can watch TV and that's just the way it works and it's handy because we can both chill and we can both be doing our own thing which I really like so I have a um, pointless vlog video pointless blog vlogs which is off it is if any of you are interested I'm watching his latest vlog I, just, I also just want to apologise for the state of my hair because I did straighten it and try to make an effort but I feel like every time I straighten it it looks so flat and I feel like it literally just makes me look like an egg even though I have like my little ponytail I feel like I just look like an egg so I apologize for saying my hair in this video so I got some questions on I got all my questions on snapchat so I'm just gonna answer them now I screenshotted them so I'm just gonna have to find them on my phone. So my first question was what is your favourite lipstick to wear? And I'm gonna answer this in two ways, like in terms of colour and in terms of finish. So my favourite colour to wear is probably nude because it's just easy and you can just like throw it on and like you're good to go and like it's so easy to do like a nude lip because you can either not use a lip liner at all or you can just like do a lip line really quick with a nude lip liner and you don't have to be like super precise with it. Um, so yeah, I think nude lips is like my go-to. I have so many different like nude lipsticks and like variations of nude lipsticks. So like brown nude, pink nude, like it's always going to be a nude lipstick, just a variation of a nude lipstick. But I do love wearing a red lipstick, like I have a red lipstick on today and I just love it. I really do. Like... I don't wear red lips every day. If I could wear red lips every day, I would, but it's just a bit of an effort and you really have to make sure it's like super precise and like make sure it like doesn't go weird sometimes on the inside of your mouth and then you have like a little like pink gap of lipstick and it's just too much effort for like day to day. But I do, I love wearing red lip, but every day it has to be nude. And then in terms of finish, I think it used to be matte was like my go-to, a nude matte lipstick for every day. But most recently it's become like a like creamy finish. So like the Cream Sheen lipsticks for MAC. That's what I've been using, like Blankety is a cream sheen and Fast Player is a cream sheen. And I also kind of use um, Cognac from Smashbox. That's another like everyday. That's like a brown nude. So Cognac is like a brown nude, Fast Play is a pink nude and then Blankety is like a nude nude if that makes sense, like a skin colour nude. Um, so they're like my three like creamy go-to nude lipsticks and that's what I've been doing using for the last few days. So my next question is favourite YouTuber? And I really don't know what the answer to this question is. Like I have a lot of favourite YouTubers, like there's people that I watch like on a daily basis and as soon as they upload a video I'll like drop what I'm doing and I'll watch it. Um, my favourites are like Kathleen Lights, oh my god. If you're not subscribed to her, go and like watch her videos because you will be obsessed with her because I only found her like last year, I wanna say. Yeah, I think it was it was when I went to Germany because she came up in my like recommended videos to watch. Like sometimes pe like random people come up there and I can't remember what video it was, but I clicked into it and I was like, I'll just watch it. And then from then on I was like hooked and you know when you find like a new youtuber to watch 
and they've been on YouTube for like four or five years and you go back and watch every single one of their videos that's like what I was like when I found her and I was like this is amazing I can't believe like I missed out but she's great so if you're looking for a new YouTuber I would definitely check her out um, another one I watch is Nicole Guerrero she used to do makeup videos but now she started a daily vlog which I love because I love watching daily vlogs um, so she's a really good one to watch and she like unboxes like PR stuff and like just does like different kinds of stuff as opposed to makeup videos now which I really like and who else do I like? I like like Alfie Day's like pointless vlog and I love Zoella like I watch them all the time I've been watching um, like Alfie Day's more lately since they moved house because I think it's so exciting and I love watching people like unbox stuff and like clean stuff and like make stuff like look all nice and that they've been doing like time lapses of that which I absolutely love so I love watching Zoe's vlogs but Alfie uploads every single day so I've been watching them like I think I've been watching them every single day since they moved um but I do I love watching Zoella videos they're like one of my favorite as well I love like people that do like chatty videos as opposed, like I have like people I watch for makeup videos and then I have people I watch for like other things like I also like um Melanie Murphy she's an Irish youtuber and she does like chatty videos and like videos about food and like different like topics like she talks about like mental health and like weight loss and like eating disorders and she talks a lot about like sexual health and all this stuff and I really like watching like different kinds of videos like that because it's all well and good to watch like a makeup tutorial but I love hearing people's like opinions on different topics so I watch like different people for different things but they're definitely in like my top makeup or my top youtubers and I also want to give a shout out to Lizzie Hallisey if you're watching she has a YouTube channel and um, I went to college with her and she's wonderful and she also has started a YouTube channel and she only has three videos but they're three very good videos so I'll leave her channel linked down below because she's going to be a new one a new up and coming Irish YouTuber so definitely check her out if you're interested so moving on to my next question so my next question is favorite drugstore product I'm going to say the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation is my number one drugstore favourite because it's so good. It's like such a good foundation. I think it's so underrated and like so many people always ask me like, oh what foundation are you wearing and like, oh that looks really nice, is that like an expensive foundation and I'm like, no it's like 9 euro from like Maybelline and I think it's really underrated and like I don't know I don't hear many people talking about it like I feel like like American youtubers and like American like beauty gurus or whatever they talk about it a lot more but I don't know people don't people like here don't really talk about it that much and I think it's like amazing it's what I have on right now and I just love it and the shade range is also like getting better it was like a bit dodgy like I couldn't I there wasn't one light enough for me but now they've brought out a couple more and they definitely like cater to a lot more like skin tones so I definitely check them out so my next question is favourite high end product and I've literally been thinking about this for like the last 10 minutes because I do not know like I'm gonna give two I'm gonna give like a favourite palette and then a favourite product so my favourite high end palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette without a doubt I absolutely love it and I use it every single day and I just think it's such a good palette and the eyeshadows are just like such good quality I would definitely recommend that if you're looking for like a high-end palette I would definitely recommend that Um, in terms of my favorite high-end product I'm gonna say my MAC brow gel cream in True Brunette which is like totally random because like it's an eyebrow product I don't know I just like I wouldn't be able to do my brows without it and it's such a good product like I haven't used anything that's like 
come close to it. Um, it lasts ages on your brows and like in real life because I have mine like, I wanna say like a month and there's literally like barely a dent in it. And I feel like it's really like versatile product as well. So like I have obviously in True Brunette and Deep Dark Brunette, but I use like Deep Dark Brunette as like a brown eyeliner sometimes. And I also like if I'm doing like a brown smoky eye or if I'm doing like a black smoky eye and I need like a dark base, I will use Deep Dark Brunette as like an eyeshadow base because it's really dark. And like when you put the shadows on top of it, then the shadows stay like quite dark and they don't blend out into like nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna say my MAC Brow Gel Cream is my favourite high-end product because I use it every single day and my brows would be nothing without it. My next question is, where do you see yourself in five years? And I have no idea. I don't know, like, I'd love... I have, like, plans. I have plans for myself that, like, I... Not plans, but, like, goals. I have goals for myself that I want to achieve in my life that I will never tell anybody which kind of sounds like a bit shady <laughs> but I feel like I don't know so, like there was this saying one time and it was like don't tell someone you're going to do something until you've already done it and like I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but it's basically like don't say you're going to do something until you actually do it because like people will doubt you and people will just be like that's never gonna happen for you and then that might doubt you like yourself about like your abilities to do stuff so I'm not gonna say what my goals are because not like I don't want people to doubt me but like my goals are like huge like I have like huge things I want to do in my life and huge things I want to like plan for my life and like create in my lifetime that I don't want to say what they are because they're so like unbelievable and so like I don't know unrealistic to some people like I could say like oh I want to be a millionaire and people would be like okay everybody does like it's not that like that's not where you see yourself in five years that's not like something that's going to happen for you but you don't know, like, if I wanted to be a millionaire, what's stopping me, like, nothing, just, like, I don't know, I feel so weird when people ask me this question because I don't want to say what my goals are because you shouldn't talk about stuff that you're going to do, you should talk about stuff that you're doing or have done, so that's all I'm going to say. I think that was a bit of a weird answer, but... I think if you understand where I'm coming from, you'll understand my answer. Um, yeah, just like I want big things for myself, but I don't want people to doubt me. So that's all I'm going to say on that one. And you can figure it out for yourself what I mean, because I'm not even sure that I know what I meant by that answer. <laughs> so my next question is, what's your guilty pleasure? And I don't, mm, I don't know if it's a guilty pleasure. I'm going to give two. I love how with every question I'm like, oh, I'll give two answers. But I'm going to give two guilty pleasures. One is Viscount Biscuits. I love Viscount Biscuits. And I only realised like recently how much I love them. I don't know if you know what they are. There's a the hole over there and I really don't want to go over. And yes, I do have them over there. They're like little brown biscuits and they're like biscuits with like mint in the middle of them. Like not in the middle of them, but on the top of them. And then they're covered with chocolate. And they're just unreal. And like, I feel like, I don't know, biscuits is a bit of a weird guilty pleasure, but I love Viscount biscuits. And that's my guilty pleasure. And then my second guilty pleasure is Riverdale, the TV show. If you haven't watched it, pause this video and go and watch it. It's only like 12 episodes, I think. 11 or 12 episodes. And there's only one season. 
There is going to be another season though, but it's not out until like October, I think. Oh my God, it is amazing. And the only reason why I'm going to say it's a guilty pleasure is because it's a little bit cheesy. Like, a little bit cheesy. It's like a more, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a more pop version of 13 Reasons Why. Like, a bit more of like a colourful, like, retro version of 13 Reasons Why. I don't know, it reminds me of it. Like, I think it's because it's like about school as well and like there's like drama and stuff, but it's really good. And the like cinematography in it, like I sound like such a knob when I like talking about cinematography, like I know what I'm talking about. But like the like stills and like the way it's filmed is so cool and it looks like so retro and like funky. Like I don't know, like the costumes and the makeup and everything in it is just like so funky. And like when me, me and Connor watched it together and he was like, is this set like nowadays or is this set like years ago? And I was like, I honestly have no idea because they're talking about like mobile phones and they're talking about like modern stuff, but like it looks really old, but definitely, definitely watch it if you haven't. I think you'll really enjoy it. And then when it gets to the end, you'll be like super raging because it's not out for ages and you're gonna have to wait. But we all do. So go and watch it now so that when it starts again in October, we can be able to talk about it and talk about how great season two is, hopefully. So yeah, Riverdale, Fight Camp Biscuits, my guilty pleasures. So my last question is, what advice would you give your younger self? And, oh, it's such a difficult question. Mm. I don't like, like, dwelling on things and I don't like being, like, I don't, I wouldn't like to be like, oh, do everything different, like, everything just goes to shit, so, like, don't trust anyone and all this stuff, like, that's so dramatic. But I think I'd just say, like, don't worry about what, like, people think. Like, it's such a hard thing to get into your head like super hard to get into your head like maybe like maybe it's a lot easier for some people but like for me it was like so not easy like I just always like cared about what people taught me and like what like what I looked like what I should look like and I spent so much time worrying about that that like not I missed out or anything, like I didn't miss out on anything, like I had a great like childhood and like teenage years and all that crack. But I feel like I spent so much time like doubting myself and like doubting like choices I was making. Not big choices but like just, I don't know, just like small stuff, like don't sweat the small stuff is a good one too. But yeah, just don't sweat the small stuff and don't worry about like what people think like just don't worry about it that's that's literally what I would say to myself don't worry about it because nothing like matters now like honestly like after you leave school you don't see anybody like even like I went to school in Moat and like secondary school I went to secondary school in Moat and I live in Moat now and I don't even see an eighth of the people that I went to school with anymore. And like when I was in school, I cared so much about what people I went to school with thought of me. And I don't know why. Like it literally made like no difference in my life because I don't even know these people now. Like I still know, like I still know them. And like there's still people that I talk to and there's still people that I'm like still friends with. But the people that I worried about thinking stuff about me are the people that I honestly don't care about. <laughs> and like, Nowadays, I don't, if I saw them out, I probably wouldn't even say hello to them, which sounds like super shady, but it's just me being honest. And like, even, I don't know if it's cause like the makeup industry is so like, I don't know, like competitive, but like even when I was in college this year, like I was just, I was so much better this year, like last year when I was in college when I started college than when I was when I started school. Like when I started college, just in September, just gone, I was like, I don't care. I don't care what anybody thinks about me. And I think that's like 
the best way to be. Like I wish I was like that when I started secondary school because I think it might have been a lot easier and I wouldn't have been like as stressed and like worried and anxious about stuff. But I don't know, just don't worry about it. That's it. Like, I don't know. I'm sure people like think that like what I'm doing is stupid like in terms of makeup in terms of making videos and stuff but like I'm just not worrying about it like I'm happy about what I'm doing I wish maybe even like three or four years ago I wasn't as worried about what people thought about me because I would have started a YouTube channel there and then and I would probably be on YouTube like three or four years now because I've wanted to do it for like so long but I was always too scared about what people would say and like people would be like who does she think she is like making videos and stuff and I'm sure some people do think that like who do I think I am making videos and thinking I'm someone on the internet but I don't know I just I don't know I don't care <laughs> I don't care what people think I don't care what negative people think and people who are going to be like you shouldn't be doing that and like you're not good enough they're the people that I don't care about people who are like oh I watched your video and it was really good or oh congratulations for starting your channel like that must have took a bit of like balls they're the people that I care about and they're the people that I trust and yeah that's that's basically it just if I could tell myself one thing it would be don't worry about what people think of you because the people you think care are people that you're not going to see and people who aren't going to make a difference in your life that's it so this is where I'm going to end my video um, I know I said I was going to film a makeup video but I actually have to go to a wedding with my mum tomorrow I'm filming this on Thursday so the wedding is tomorrow on Friday and I have to go out on Saturday so I won't have time to film and upload on Saturday and I'm going out Saturday night so I don't like if I film a makeup video Saturday then I'll have to take off my makeup and do it again and I can't film it tomorrow because I have to go to the wedding and I couldn't film it now because I already had my makeup on and I really didn't want to take it off and put it on again because I just hate doing that so I just filmed this little Q&A and um, I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you know a little bit more about me now Um, I plan on doing these like a little bit like every few weeks or every few months or something just to kind of keep up today and answer any questions that you have Um, but yeah I think that's it Um, I'll definitely will do my next video will definitely be a makeup video I will do that on Wednesday and I will have it up for you guys and yeah I think that's all so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave me a comment if you like this video and maybe you want to see more like talky videos and like question videos or if you want me to answer questions about like a certain topic and I can make a video just on that I will definitely do that and yeah let me know what you're thinking of like the different backgrounds as well or if you think I should just stick to the black one and like the lights and everything like being all nice. I will go back to that if that's what you want. So yeah. I will see you then. On Wednesday. Bye guys.